I'm going to show you how to drill liposome in Inkscape because you guys asked for it. If you're first time my channel, welcome. I'm Scientific Illustrator John and I help scientists to create their scientific figures for their research publications. I've done posts in drama content about the Herbermann scandal and return to the normal educational content on my channel. I show you guys the analytics. The drama content does much better than educational videos. If you want to see more educational content, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel and share the videos. The only way for me to continue this channel is to increase the viewership and you can help me to achieve that and a live stream on wednesday helping scientists with their figures the software i use in this tutorial is inkscape it is a free open source software you can learn more about it in the link in the description without further ado i'll start to draw the liposome so first let's make a circle and then the second circle let's create a gradient Like that. Right. Move this to the top. This will be our phosphate. And I already make a few copies around here, so that's what we need. Remember to make a few more copies. And we will need two layers. I push this to the top. Let's select both of these. The extension generate from path scatter. Let's do a live preview. There you go. I'll apply it. And we'll need to do the same for the inner circle. This one goes to the top. Select both of these. Go to generate from path scatter live pre nice apply now then we need to create the lipid heads let's go to object path break it these two break path at the selected node so i can move these two parts and break the node here and move the node a little bit to the side. A 0 0.5. And then go to stroke style. Cap. There we go. I'll go to path stroke to path. So now I can put a color in there and also put an outline to the path. Then I'll create something like this. And this will be our lipid chains. Okay, center to vertical axis. Um, maybe I'll make the lipid chain smaller. Now I will scatter them. I will make a few copies of the lipid chain. We need to turn the lipid layer, these lipid chain upside down. I will do this again. <laughs> Generate from path scatter. Okay, live preview. Stretch spaces to fit skeleton. Then they they will be equally distributed. That's what we want. Let me apply. Copy, put it here. Extension generate from path scatter. Oh, that's uh, another layer of lipid chain. So I will fill in a yellow gradient in between the two lipid bilayers. So this is why it is good to have a copy on this side. Place it here and I'll create a gradient like this. I will also toggle snapping on. 
so I can find the exact center of the circle. And just click and drag. Okay. A lighter yellow. And for the outline, I hold shift and click on none and edit that. And then I'll send it to the back. I'll go to the fill and stroke tab go to fill, then we can edit the gradient. I'll change this color box to a lighter color Just basically I'll make it white and then I'll move it way here and I'll move the cursor a little bit underneath the gradient bar click it and we'll get the stop color so you can see the color box node on the gradient stop we can just select the node and then click the color that you want and we get to create this type of intermembrane gradient and then i will i will fill in the inner circle with all the phosphates i will do that by using the scatter function instead of one by one so this is a line and distribution tab we can center on vertical axis and on horizontal axis i'll copy a phosphate over here and make sure the phosphate is at the top of the layers of all objects and go to extension generate from path scatter live preview right and space between copies let's go for zero and we don't need offset for this one all right then we can apply we will do it to all the paths that's how we get this space fill up with all the phosphate heads ideas that comes up i'm also doing a little bit of overlapping between the layers okay now we have arranged the inner layer I can then apply a shadow. Um, I'll use black. Now decrease the opacity. The whole thing. And I can see that it is too dark. <laughs> oh wait, no, because it's not opaque. All right there you go this also have to be uh the color also needs to be black at the center but then opacity zero all right and then the outline let me remove it move this to the top there you go then we have a faint shadow i will toggle this color box a little bit and push them outward so and it, it looks like we have a view that's caving in that's how you draw a liposome in inkscape if you have more questions you can leave them in the comments like and subscribe to the video and i'll see you again next week